What's up guys, welcome to this episode of What in the Womanhood and today I have my lovely guest Miranda. Hi Dr. Zen, thank Hi, you for darling. having me. Please introduce yourself. Can I start by saying congratulations? <laughs> well done, I love this for you man. Uh, my you. name is Miranda, I'm um, just a girl who's labeled herself a corporate bay in this <laughs> life and is trying to stick to it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm always celebrating Miranda on social media. <laughs> so I thought she's like the perfect person to bring here and have this conversation like a girly chat, oh, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so let's dive in. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Today we want to talk about dating. Njolo. I mean, the pandemic. <laughs> wow, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so um, let's just talk about it. Um, what have been your experiences, or what would you say your experiences have been yeah. dating as a career woman? Let's start from there. Okay, first off, just to... I am not an expert, <laughs> so no one should take my word for it here. <laughs> but... I think it's been amazing mm -hmm. and very eye-opening, mm -hmm. as well as the pits, <laughs> if I may put it that way. I've seen so much, you know, at such a young age to be like, whoa, you know, one day you wake up, you're mm -hmm. ready for it. The next day it's like, can't do it. Dating is the pits and so, you know, right. so, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's been an amazing journey though. Like yeah. you get to learn a lot about yourself in the process. So mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's always this, uh, perception that career wom women can be, you know, a bit intimidating. Difficult. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, yeah. what are your thoughts on that? Did you have any experiences such as that? I'd say like three quarters of my relationships were like that. Mm. And I mean, I just want to be loved, right? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I've dated, I think it's a thing around having confidence and knowing who you are, mm -hmm. right? And trying to, because I'm a go-getter. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to go for things um, that I naturally put a vision on. So like at the beginning of the year, for example, I'll put a vision board up. Right. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, you're working towards things aligning in a specific way for the things that you want. Mm -hmm. And I found that I've mostly dated three quarters of guys who are laid back. Mm -hmm. They are doing what they're doing in life, but they're a bit laid back. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so now you're coming in, you're pushing someone and now you become, oh, she's independent. <laughs> oh, she's this and that. She's difficult. She's stubborn. Yeah. I've heard stubborn so much in my life now. Oh. I now live with myself, my stubborn, you know, type but thing. But do you then feel like, because I feel like, you know, we kind of like fall into that trap. Yeah. Where you feel like, okay, maybe I'm, I'm a bit too much, you know, and you want to like dial back a little bit. You do. Yeah. Yeah, you do actually. Uh, you start thinking that you're the problem, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's been, yeah, it's been so much for me. And it's, it's. So I'm principled. So it's basic things like someone saying they're going to be there to be there too, you know. Yeah. If someone says, um, I want to come pick you up, and then they ghost you sort of, right? <laughs> you're like, what the hell, right? And so now you're not picking up their calls or whatever. Yeah. Now they're going, you're so independent. Yeah, you think you, or, oh, my favorite one. Mm -hmm. When someone's like, let's go on a date. Mm -hmm. Naturally, I prefer to go in my own oh. car. Oh! <laughs> What about your own car? Right. You, you know what? Right. When you yeah. said that, you yeah. kind of reminded me of this <laughs> conversation that's been coming up a lot. Yeah. Where um, people are talking about how to deny a date that you don't want. Oof. Like, you know, let's go grab a coffee, yeah. let's take a walk. And then, you know, some women just feel like that's not really a like, date. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I saw someone actually doing a post and they're like, there's a way to refuse it. So, yeah. You can What's just, that way? I need to I don't learn. Know, like, I've forgotten the, <laughs> yeah. like, the exact words, but yeah. then like, you kind of like go around and it and with, be like, oh, I'm actually busy all afternoon. Da, da, da. I do that a I'm lot. I'm actually free like around seven to eight. How about dinner? Yeah. yeah. Because now you're, now you're setting the actual yeah. date thing. <laughs> then the people also, because like maybe the reason why they said they wanted like uh, a coffee date or whatever mm -hmm. is because I... I Maybe they can't afford dinner. 
Yeah, she tweeted three story. <laughs> Don't kill me for this. Right? Now you're imposing dinner on them. Yeah. And sometimes I like to pay for stuff, right? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I end up paying. And I think it emasculates men sometimes, right? Yeah. But I was raised you so independent. I pay, I pay for Wait. things. <laughs> I missed that one. Say what now? I pay for things. <laughs> <laughs> Could never be. <laughs> You actually let me explain. You actually myself. get into your bag. Yeah, and, and get my wallet out and, and pay. pay. Yeah, are you paying like half? Sometimes half, sometimes full. Oh my god! <sighs> so I was raised independent. Okay. Uh, to a point where I don't think I've ever dated someone and asked for airtime even, right? Uh huh. And like, I'm more a giver. Yeah. Than I am a receiver. So uh -huh. I love giving gifts, blah blah blah. So sometimes when like we got on a date, mm -hmm. I would like to pay, because like, I'm not attached to money. Okay. That's the thing about So to me, it holds no value but except for the thing you, it's doing. Have you been with someone who was just taking care of everything? Oh yes, I have. And so how did that thing. feel like? It felt, it felt great from a woman's perspective, but I always mm -hmm. had that subconscious that also tried to cover up sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like, so he would take care of me, go on dates and whatever, he's paying, he's paying, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And then sometimes, I would then, like, when we go on a date, I just quickly pay, you know, like, quickly take out your wallet and you pay type thing. Yeah. 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 Okay. Just to cover, because, like, in the back of my mind, it just sits there, you know, like, <laughs> I'm being overly <laughs> taken care of. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's talk about mm -hmm. the guys who, you know, kind of, like, prefer, like, the outdoor, chilled type of a vibe of, yeah. a, of a date. Of the dating. Mm -hmm. um, I know me and my person... Our first date was actually at Mtangas. <coughs> yeah, Mtarazi? Mtangazi. Where's that? Not Mtarazi. Where's that? She doesn't even know what I'm talking about. She doesn't even like know. Like you went to Nyanga for your first date? No. She yeah. does, you see, mm. she doesn't even know what I'm talking about. I mean, that's just yeah. to show that people are different. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. People yeah. are different. Like, um, I'm more of an outdoor person. I love to eat a lot of meat. Yeah, yeah. I like to drink and I like to just... Have, have fun, fun. Yeah, right? Yeah. And I felt like the fact that he took me somewhere there, right? And he took care of the whole bill Thing, or whatever. We're, we're like, and oh. we were just eating a lot of meat, having drinks and talk. I felt like, eh, this guy My knows me. My kind of person. He yeah, knows yeah, me, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I feel like, you know, people are, are different. Different in that way. Yeah. No, but now you've brought on someone who leans more to your side because I'm also an outdoorsy person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would faster do a date where we are walking uh -huh. than a dinner date. Yeah. I feel like dinner dates at restaurants are so confined. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I often have to now start like crunching up conversations <laughs> from, you know, <laughs> the backs of the beyond. And it's so difficult for me. But when you're walking, you can easily start saying, oh, they have a bird, a pretty bird, you know. Yeah. Like, and it's not forced for me. So I prefer those. And I love yeah. going out, like you said. So I used to love Anna, your medics, Anna, Jongwe, Kona, meat, Yama, and everything. So I prefer outdoors too. Yeah. To, as opposed to... So I guess it's kind of like having yeah. a good mix. Like having... A balance of it. A balance of it yeah. and someone putting in the effort. Yeah. I like think movies, what puts off people yeah. is the whole thing, like someone will just say, oh yeah, come to my house, let's watch a movie. I let's hate chill. that. Like, I, no, I hate... That's not a date. I hate Netflix <laughs> and chill. Oh my... That is not a date. I, no, that's a date I'll try to get out of. <laughs> I hate that. And I think <laughs> I recently ghosted someone who was trying to do that. I was like, nope. You're no. the ghoster. <laughs> Jeez. He really kept trying to cook me dinner at his place. I was like, no. <laughs> but I didn't say no. I just went quiet. <laughs> Talk about ghosting. I think ghosting <laughs> is like a whole different episode on its own. <laughs> but what's been your experience with ghosting? I mean, you're saying you're the ghoster. <laughs> but have you been ghosted before? I have. I'm by a cute guy. <laughs> so shout out cute guy. <laughs> but I have. And, and it's not great. So I don't feel good when I do it. Yeah. Um, but what's going through your mind? Like, why would you just... Because ghosting is just going like quiet on someone. Yeah, cool, turkey. Yeah. So, so, so if I'm the ghosty, right? Mm -hmm. I start going into chats, like deep diving. 
what did I say wrong? Where did I go wrong? I'm just, and now I'm on Instagram, I'm stalking and stuff, which is not great, right? I'm just there singing Mariah Carey's all day long. You, we belong together, you know? Yeah. But it's not great. And yeah. so I think sometimes when I think ghost, I feel it. Mm -hmm. but, but because I do a lot of it, I mm -hmm. understand it. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, you, there are times when you just get annoyed mm -hmm. by specific things and then you, you don't have the time to explain yourself. Yeah. So you just go quiet. Yeah. So I understand it sometimes. Like people come on too strong sometimes. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I feel like when it comes to ghosting, women tend to think that it's like a guy thing. Yeah, but it's interesting yeah. to hear that, you know. Women do it too. Women do it too, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, All right, yeah. so I want to talk about, let's get back into like being a career woman yeah. and dating. Yeah. Um, and we were talking about like shrinking or yourself. trying to like, yeah, trying to make yourself feel a bit smaller so that, you know, you don't you intimidate. Yeah. Um, do you, what do you think about that? Do you think it's a good idea at all or? Cause, uh, so yeah. I'm of two minds mm -hmm. on that. <clears throat> Overly independent women usually don't get a man, right? We've seen all these movies, and I think it happens in life in yeah. general, right? Uh, when I look at myself and my career, I definitely have a trajectory that I want, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's a matter of me finding the person that fits perfectly into that, and I think I haven't been too good at that. Yeah. But all the same, and having had dated the people I did, and those were amazing relationships, I mm -hmm. enjoyed myself in the time, uh, and I will not fault anyone for whatever happened. But there was a lot of me that was taken away yeah. in those relationships. Yeah. There's so much I had to accommodate, so much I had to adjust, mm -hmm. you know, and I couldn't fully be myself. Um, just a quick example would be like when you're dating and you're within your career, someone doesn't understand that you come from work at 12 midnight, you know, and that mm -hmm. happens a lot, especially in my space, uh -huh. you know. Someone doesn't understand that... I can travel with just male bosses mm -hmm. on a trip to work, you know. I'd be like, why are you the only lady there? <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. You know? So, so it's those difficulties that I had to navigate. Mm -hmm. I had to navigate that whole I'm a giver thing as well. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I do spend a lot. I'm very fr um, impulsive and frivolous. Yeah. Right? So, I don't, so I don't tend to keep a budget or whatever mm -hmm. and then myself I'm not saying I'm made of money <laughs> <laughs> but the little that I have it tends to really fly by quickly yeah but I've also made some important investments in my life mm -hmm. and so when someone's coming in right mm -hmm. I already have property and mm -hmm. you're thinking you know Unozida because you've got your you know ducks in a row but i'm trying yeah. to put my ducks in a row because i think of the future of having a family yeah. you know and at least there's a starting point and so i'm coming in with something you're coming in with something or if you're not coming in with something at least help me build yeah you know and it's been so difficult to explain that whole if you're coming with nothing help me build aspect because now because yeah. now already they feel emasculated and i've had to compromise a lot of myself in terms of how i conduct myself when i'm with my person uh-huh uh-huh to the society, you know, and I've had to give up quite a lot of things when mm -hmm. I'm in those relationships. And as soon as I jump out of them, I'm back to normal self, you yeah. know. And I'm, oh, I'm somewhat happier when I'm now <laughs> by myself, you know. Yeah. But then you get back into missing the dating, the calls and the whatever. So yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's so which, which brings me to this uh, conversation that I was having with yeah. my Instagram followers. Yeah. Um, I posted a... Um, a video which this lady was talking about and she was saying uh, successful women or women in general mm -hmm. just need a man who's more successful than they are so I'm just listening from what you're describing like if you had someone who's already more successful who already has, has. property as well mm -hmm. who already has achieve so many things, then you wouldn't have to like sort of like navigate so many of these things. I agree with that statement. Yeah. I agree with it from a point of, I'm a bit traditional mm -hmm. in the sense that for me, 
as much as it's difficult to do those adjustments, I try to, you know, be submissive and whatnot. Yeah. Right? And it's difficult to be submissive to someone who's insecure. Yeah. Because whatever you do, it's still going to be wrong. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But I agree with the statement in the sense that once someone is above you, the little things don't matter. Yeah. Things like, oh, I should get that cake. I guess I could post on Instagram. <laughs> Why didn't I buy that cake for you? You know, yeah, like yeah. the little things don't matter anymore. Things like, oh, she she went out with her friends, you mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. and she didn't even call me to tell me that's what they were doing or what time she got back. Yeah. You get it? Yeah. But I feel like once you have someone who's above you in terms of success or whatever mm -hmm. it is, right, mm -hmm. they're already emasculated. Yeah. And so whatever they see you doing is it's really minor. It's like, and, uh, sheesh. <laughs> you know, like people tend to major on the minors. You yeah, know, like yeah. When they're a bit like below you. Yeah. And, and I don't think it's healthy. I think I've tried it so many times. Um, it didn't work out. I wouldn't go back. Yeah. But then yeah. I'm, I'm also thinking because um, someone then said um, it's more about building each other and growing together you know so not necessarily that he has to be more successful right um so and then i, I you know I, I i did a lot of research yeah, yeah, yeah. before doing this I talk see you, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. you know and i was um i was reading into it and some people think that an alpha woman right would be more like better paired with a with a beta like a beta man. I used to think like, so. Too. Yeah, like somebody who's not, who's not really keen to lead, you know, who's who's more of on the on the supportive type of role. What do you think? I used to think so. Uh huh. But not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Because I did that. <laughs> Still the tea. And it did not work out. It didn't work out. Hey? Uh huh. Because at the end of the day, um, regardless, that male instinct still kicks in. Yeah. You know how to like wolves yeah right? there's an alpha but from time to time they'll t try to fight the alpha mm -hmm. just to see if they can get the spot yeah so i think it's naturally in men to naturally want to lead yeah. their guys will take back seats i know it like mm -hmm. like you wrestle with sierra, sierra right mm -hmm. he's a beta mm -hmm. But sometimes you see him claw out and whatnot, whatnot, <laughs> like here and there, you know. But he's very supportive. The wolf will come to, out. Right here Eventually. And there. So I think for me in my, in my <laughs> past life, uh, <laughs> you know, you'd get to a stage where once it, like the, the beta starts, because um, I think also it's got to do with like his friends or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. They're coming in and saying, okay, no, Rutongwa or this and that and that. And now they have a different perspective to the relationship that you'd created together. Yeah. So I appreciate the whole build together. Yeah. That was my philosophy at 25, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> She's seen the lights. <laughs> back then, I used to sew one. And I think I yeah. curved a lot of guys who had money back then. Did she know Ooh. I want a guy we start together with? Because these oh, yeah. guys with money will start controlling you. I, you know what? <laughs> yeah. let's, 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 let's get into that. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it could be because of like our upbringing? You know, like, like the way we we're raised, even like as Christians, yeah, and like, yeah. oh, it, it, it appears as if like, if you're a woman mm -hmm. and you're openly saying that I want a man who's successful, who's got money, who's got things together, you are being materialistic or you're being a gold digger. Yeah, yeah. And they make it sound as if it's actually it's, a, a bad like thing. Like it's the wrong path yeah. to take. I will say it's upbringing for me. Yeah. Uh, like I said, raised with a father and brothers. They took care of everything for me mm -hmm. and also raised me to make sure that I always had my things sorted. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Story for another day. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, but like in all of that doing right, they always made sure that I didn't have to depend on men because mm -hmm. see that they were there or I was supposed to be there for myself yeah and like in in the general then upbringing where I later reunited with my mom right mm -hmm. it felt so materialistic for me to chase a guy with a car yeah um be taken out because I used to have so many people would want to fly me out and on holidays Good and enough, stuff yeah, yeah. so I'd go to my mom and be like e, some guy's calling me out to Australia and she'd be like 
You're strong. For what, you know? <laughs> and then so, so now it's conscientized in me to say, you know what? Uh -huh. You can't go to Australia. You listen, unika side pocket money cargo. You get it? Mm -hmm, so you can mm -hmm. fly back at any time. Yeah. Already that's independence. Because you'll call me stubborn and independent. Because mm -hmm. I'll be like, listen, I'm taking the next flight home, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's the flight I'd have to go through. Mm -hmm. And so I think you're right that... I Yes, it's upbringing. You I know. think so. Yeah. And I wouldn't <laughs> tell my daughter. <laughs> no, honestly, I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think it's important. Yeah. Because you have to know that you can actually build with this person. Correct. And uh, if you dive in <laughs> blind. <laughs> I mean, you, you're going to face, yeah. you know, a lot of problems. And I, I think it's really important. Yeah. yeah. But that's the thing for me as well, that I grew up having that philosophy, right? Mm -hmm. And then only to have a shift of mind that says, listen, love will come later. Go for the <laughs> money, right? Because now I'm thinking about just the future of what leaving a legacy means. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you can't build on love is what I've seen. You, yeah. I, <laughs> Love is not enough. You can't build on it's love. It's not enough. Um, <laughs> I, you know, yeah. I've been telling a lot of young girls that. And, yeah. I, and I say, you know what? Yeah. Love is not enough. Yeah. You really yeah. have to make sure that there's a lot that also comes you know, through. Comes with through. It. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Correct. Correct. Uh, yeah, but you know, I, I also feel like, you know, Shinema Zera, Shinema Levels. You know? Okay. 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 So. I'm listening. Hear me out. <laughs> yeah. Hear me yeah. out. Yeah, okay. So um, you're going to have somebody who. <laughs> we're, we're talking about the table again. Who doesn't have <laughs> <laughs> that table? <laughs> that table. That, that invisible. Who doesn't? Table. Who doesn't have much to bring to the table? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so if you get your person who's who's like you know earning like an average income, right, mm -hmm. and you are coming from a position where maybe you don't even have a job, yeah, and you don't have much to bring to the table, yeah, I feel like still you are someone who's looking up to somebody who's more successful to yeah, you, correct. right? Yeah. So I think maybe that's where the misconception comes about. Like when people are having that discussion, like, oh, but what do you bring to the table? I, I don't really think, yeah. it's, not like, it's not like when women are saying this, they're saying that uh, someone who doesn't have much to offer must always must aim for like more. so higher. Yeah, yeah. But we're just saying you, you want a partner whom you can look up to, you know? And who, whom you can trust that this person can lead this family. I like this. the direction. Right? Of this. <laughs> so the table doesn't always mean money, right? Yeah. And like, uh -huh. I always tell people there's that thing where someone can come into my life and they're probably not financially stable, right? Mm -hmm. But they've just got this command. Yes. And they're leading, uh -huh. you know? Uh -huh. And I'll be taken, you know? Because yeah. like, it's not always about money. Yeah. Right? I think the. The one thing I've been trying to go for this entire dating period. Oh, and I started at grade five. By the way. What? <laughs> Your first boyfriend was at grade five. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Talk about early blooming. Yikes! I always tell people this, and they're like, oh, "Yeah, I started so early." <laughs> but back then, it was like holding hands, and it would look cute. So yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Don't judge me. <laughs> but I love men who take. Yeah. And and I guess I haven't seen enough of that to now be tied up, right? Yeah. Um someone who tell me I told you I'm frivolous. So mm -hmm. someone will be like, Yo, yo, right, mm -hmm. you've got your money, this is how it's happening, like mm -hmm. set a budget, do this, do this, do this. Yeah. And I used to get that in bits and pieces from people, but it was mm -hmm. never fully the full thing. Mm -hmm. Right, someone who'll be like, no, We're not going out today, we're just chilling indoors, watching a movie, blah blah. Because I love those sort of things as well, yeah. But but not when you're dating and someone's like Netflix and chill, no, no. no. but like when, <laughs> when it's now like your man and you know, yeah. you get to cuddle in this cold weather, <laughs> you know, together and stuff. Let's not get into that, one. no, <sighs> so okay, yeah. yeah. So like, I because because one thing I'll say about women that are perceived as successful or mm -hmm. career led is that people seem to think we've got things together. Like, like I've got my things together. I think I'm the worst person in mm -hmm. terms of like just organization. Yeah. So I am organized in terms of like what I've gotten to in my life. Yeah. But I'm disorganized. So I'm that one person who, for example, 
at work I've got a planner mm -hmm. and a task to do and mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. right? And I'm taking at work, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But get to my house <laughs> and it's just a soggy <laughs> mess, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I don't always have things together. Like yeah. today, I'll know to do like investments and shares, mm -hmm. right? But I won't know, know what to do with that money after. So then I'm out now shopping or whatever, you know. Ah, and you're the spender. Yeah. So I just need um, direction. Like I don't guilty. have everything together, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I I, yeah. I get that. You know, with me, yeah. I I've always felt like I I don't I don't just jump into what. I am very capable of doing. Yeah. And it takes a lot of convincing, um, you know, from, from the outside, you know. Yeah. And that. Yeah. And that. So, and, yeah. you know. Um, like external forces have to motivate you. I'm not yeah. internally motivated. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So it. for me, I think having a partner who, who's been saying, listen, we're doing this, we're doing that. It's actually like made me grow in those made things. Like, like. I've become like more, <laughs> I've become more confident. Yeah, like yeah. I, I will start yeah, things, you yeah, know. I'm, yeah. but I'm, I'm still, you know, it's still there. Still hesitant. But he pushes you. Yeah, and that's yeah. That, that's all a girl's looking for in this life. Definitely. But now, <laughs> you're there trying to be pushed, and your man's there trying to be pushed. <laughs> it doesn't work. It does not work, you know. <laughs> and my friends tend to say that I have a wounded bird, bird syndrome. Okay. Is like when you constantly be looking for wounded people to ah oh, Bob the Builder to, yeah Aww. build a bay up in this place <laughs> <laughs> no you know you know my friends tend to say I, I have a lot of that that's why I said I've done three quarters of relationships that mm -hmm. did not work out it was mostly projects let's talk about relationships that didn't work out yeah so when a relationship does not work out mm -hmm. how do you then get into another one. Like, do you have a formula to say, I don't date soon after, I, yeah. I no formula. <laughs> that sound like me. <laughs> that was me. I have no oh formula. My goodness. If you had one, please give me. <laughs> I never had a formula. Right, right. I would jump in, what, dive you, in. Because we're lovers, not fighters, right? <laughs> I mean, well, come on, yeah. like, I, I, you know what, I used to just tell myself, it, it didn't work yeah. for whatever reason, and there's nothing wrong with me, yeah. there's nothing wrong with him, yeah. it just didn't work, and yeah. it's time to move on, we keep it moving, and we keep going, yeah, and it just means that with that person, it wasn't gonna, it doesn't mean that with the next person, it's also not gonna work, yeah, yeah. and I feel like that's kind of like the major reason why people then shy away from dating, I've never yeah. understood this whole, hey, you need to heal process, hey, you heal within, within the within process me, of you heal. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd say my one formula uh -huh. is that I make sure I cry. Ooh, I'm also a, a crier. good cry after a breakup, oh, yeah. like a two three weeks of me crying. <laughs> two, you know, three weeks? no, not me. <laughs> well, well, not that long. <laughs> I'm lying. Sometimes that long. <laughs> You know, a good cry. Because uh -huh. I feel like, and, and I once read that somewhere, where it said that women, women get hurt in the short term of a breakup mm -hmm. and men get hurt in the long term. Yeah. A guy would turn back around and be like, shit, I messed up with that chick. Yeah. I want a bag. Now yeah. he's the one suffering. And yeah. you, you've gone through your breakup phase. And now even when you see him, you're like, ugh. I, you're just so over it. Over it, exactly. <laughs> like you're done with that. Yeah, Steamy yeah. to that. <laughs> right? But like, th I think that's the one thing I do. I make sure I really get you out of my like, system yeah. by crying a and, lot. And embracing yeah. that. You know, I feel like people kind of like hide away from, yeah. from what they're feeling. Yeah. And um, I always, uh, I used to discourage the whole Blocking a person? Did you? I used you to do, do that. that. Uh, mm. I used to do I, that. Oh. I used to <laughs> <laughs> like it's over. Yeah. And you're like, oh no. and you're like social I media. Bah, 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 no, bah, okay, yeah. let me block him everywhere. <laughs> you're not really yeah, healing. Yeah, you're just yeah. like kind of like running Cutting away. Things away. Yeah. You have to be able to look at that profile picture and be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. look at and you. cry. Yeah, look at him and yeah. start crying. Yeah. <laughs> And then don't text. Yeah, yeah. And that's how you... The not you, texting bit. Oh, it's hard. Man, you're strong if you don't text, because <laughs> I do. <laughs> but uh, I, I yeah. feel like you, you eventually get there. Like, you eventually yeah. get to that space where you're like, this is done, this yeah. is over. 
let's keep it let's, moving. Let's move, yeah. Because if you block, the day that you bump See into them. the guy, it's and then mess. you're going to unblock, and then it's just like... And it always happens yeah. when you're looking your worst. Have you ever noticed? <laughs> <laughs> you bump into them in your tracksuit, <laughs> hair not combed, looking I'm crusty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I hear you on that. Yeah. I understand it, and I think I'm going to take it from here going forward. <laughs> <laughs> Please yeah, do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was so lovely having <laughs> it was you. Lovely having you too. Um, I, I'm loving having these girly chats. I loved it. I loved it. I think it was a release for me in a way. So I loved it. And congratulations once again. Thank you. Can I hug you? <laughs> oh, please. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow. Okay. One last thing yeah. that you want to say to any woman out there who is dating. Yeah, what piece of advice or take home from our discussion? From this discussion. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Well, one thing I'll say is we're all different. So what I've said here today will not work for the next woman, right? Mm, So I'm not the one who will chase money. Mm -hmm. But there's someone who has and they've got a ring. Yeah. And it worked for them. Mm Mm-hmm. Then there's another person who says, I'll start with someone from the bottom. And mm-hmm. it worked for them, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So we're all different. Yeah. This was just an opinion from one person who's had the experiences, right? Exactly. And how I think of how I'll live my life. Yeah. Um, and we sort of connected on some bits and on some bits were like, mm-hmm. mm, no. right? Mm-hmm. right? Exactly. Because I feel like women are different, men are different. Mm-hmm. The stories are different. Some may be similar, but they're different even when they're similar. And yeah. So what I'll say to women in dating, and I'd like to mostly say for career women, mm-hmm. please don't stop trying to achieve your work goals. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, people will tell you, oh, no, don't strive to be an exec at such an age because no guy will come at you. <laughs> you know? Lies. Don't, yeah, <laughs> don't do this, what, what. Don't yeah. go on work trips. Or my favorite one, which I still hear to date, is mm-hmm. don't go out clubbing. Or don't go have fun. Like, if it's something that's fun for me, mm-hmm. just do you, you know? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So so that's my one piece of advice. Just do yeah. you. The things that make you happy. If it's going to church, if it's uh, going out with your lady friends, mm-hmm. just do that. If it's restaurants or whatever, a person will find you in your belly. Exactly. And that's always the best relationship. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, man. I, I can't even add anything else onto <laughs> oh that. My God, yeah. <laughs> it's no, been such you. a pleasure. Oh, I love you, man. No, <laughs> and a thank you guys for listening, for watching, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye for now. <laughs>